Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you how to make shrimp and cod cioppino. And this is a very basic recipe. I use very basic ingredients like shrimp and cod, and I simmer it in a tomato broth and pair it with some crusty bread. You have yourself a delicious, satisfying meal. Okay, let's get started. Shrimp and cod is actually one of those dishes that my hubby and I would always order at a restaurant, but I never just thought to make it at home just because I feel like it's so many different types of seafood. So I came up with a recipe using, like I mentioned, very basic ingredients that I normally cook with, which is cod and shrimp. But you could definitely make it more authentic and add mussels, you could add clams, you could add scallops, whatever your heart desires. If you're feeling a bit fancier, you could swap cod for some halibut, which is more of an expensive piece of fish. But my goal was to keep this recipe very, very simple, simple enough to make for a weeknight meal. Okay, so I have a little over a pound of shrimp. I got the ones that are already peeled, but the tail is still on. But you can buy them peeled, you can buy them unpeeled, whatever is available at your grocery store or whatever is on sale. I always have a bag of frozen shrimp in my freezer um, on hand. And then I have a little over a pound of wild caught cod. And I got my knife. And what I like to do is cut the fish up into chunks, like into, I wanna say, like about that size. Cod is just a very easy fish to work with. It's really mild in flavor. It's fairly inexpensive compared to other pieces of fish, but yes, we do love cooking with cod. So depending on how many people you guys are feeding for dinner, you could add more or less seafood. It's just gonna be my husband and my older son and I having this for dinner. My younger one is allergic to shellfish, and to be honest, he is very picky. <laughs> but anyways, let me go ahead and grab the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so here I have some celery, and what I'm going to do is just slice the celery in half lengthwise, and then I'm just gonna give that a slice. And you can use fennel if you guys want. I like to use celery just because we always have celery. My older son will eat celery. He'll just snack on it on its own without any peanut butter or ranch. So we always have some celery on hand. Since this is a tomato-based soup, we're gonna need some canned tomatoes. So you can get a can of crushed tomatoes. My grocery store only sells 28 ounce cans of crushed tomatoes and I don't need all that. So if you want, you can use that, or if you can find 15 ounces of crushed tomatoes at your store, that's fine, that'll work. Um, but if you do get the 28 ounce can, just use half of that. So what I like to do so that there's no waste is I get a 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes and I put it in my food processor and I just blend it away. And that's basically crushed tomatoes. We're crushing them in the food processor. <laughs> They also have whole peeled tomatoes, and you can do that too. Just go ahead and put it in your blender or food processor. Ooh, I don't wanna get this on my sweater like I did on the last video. I was wearing white. I need to start wearing an apron. Okay. All right. Easy peasy, we have crushed tomatoes. Okay, so we're also going to be needing some minced garlic. I have a diced onion. I have some red pepper flakes. We're only gonna be using a little bit just because my older son is not a fan of heat and he's gonna be having this for dinner. And then I have vegetable stock and that's what I'm gonna be using in the recipe. If you wanna be more authentic, you could use clam juice or seafood stock. This is what they had at Trader Joe's. This is what I used, and when I tested it out, it came out perfect. Plus, you're gonna get the flavor from the cod and the shrimp simmering in the broth, so vegetable stock worked just fine for me. Um, we have some flat leaf parsley, and just like with any soup and stew, I have a ciabatta baguette. You could use a French loaf, you could use sourdough, whatever crusty bread that you like, go ahead and use that. What I really love about this recipe is I think I bought everything from Trader Joe's other than the parsley, which I already had on hand, and the shrimp, which I had in my freezer. And like I mentioned earlier, my goal was to make this recipe simple enough for anyone to make at home on a weekday if you're craving chivino. Okay, I'm really excited to show you guys this recipe. Let's head over to the stove. All right, so I've got my pot heated over medium-high heat. I'm going to add some oil along with 
the diced onion, the celery, and the minced garlic. I'm going to season it with some salt and add a pinch of crushed red pepper flakes. You could add more if you guys like more heat, but I'm just gonna add a little bit just because my son. And I'm gonna cook this down until they're slightly softened. This will take about four minutes. All right, our veggies are looking good. They are nice and softened. Time to go in with the vegetable broth. Gonna use the entire carton. I'm also going to go in with the tomatoes. And the vegetable broth and the tomatoes, well, the tomatoes are no salt and the vegetable broth is low sodium. So I'm gonna go in with a good amount of salt because we want that flavor to go into our seafood as well. I'm also going to season it with some black pepper. And I'm gonna bring everything to a boil. All right, so once everything has come to a full on boil, I'm gonna lower the heat to medium low and let it simmer for about 10 minutes so all the flavors are gonna just marry together. All right guys, our broth has been simmering for 10 minutes and now it's time to drop in our seafood. I'm gonna go in with the shrimp and now the cod. All right, you wanna be very gentle because you don't want the cod to break up on you. I'm gonna bring everything to a boil. And once it reaches a boil, I'm going to lower the heat back down to medium low. And this does not take long to cook at all. I'm gonna cover it and let it cook for about five minutes and our seafood should be cooked through. All right, let's go ahead and check to see if the seafood is cooked through. And you wanna just make sure your seafood is cooked through See how it's like white and flaky and opaque? That means it's cooked through. And let's check out our shrimp. Our shrimp looks perfect, guys. All right, it is time to serve this up. I'm so excited. I went ahead and garnished it with a little bit of fresh chopped parsley, but there you have it, you guys, the most easiest and simplest shrimp and cod chipino. All right, you guys, the time has come. It is time for the taste test, and I cannot wait. I went ahead and made garlic bread. I went the extra mile today. Normally when I served this up last time, I just toasted up the bread and smeared a little butter on it. And that was just as delicious. But if you wanna make garlic bread, I'll leave the full written recipe in the description below for you guys. And then this is optional. I have some fresh chopped parsley. And then I went ahead and plucked the lemon from my tree. And just for some extra freshness, I'm going to add some lemon juice. All right. Let's take a bite. Actually, I'm gonna remove the tail from the shrimp here so I can easily eat it. Okay, so I have a little bit of shrimp. I have a little cod. Cheers, you guys. Mm. Mm. Excuse the yummy noises, but this is so yum. The flavors from the broth came through. The seafood is cooked perfectly. I get to kind of even taste the crushed red pepper flakes, even though I only added a little bit. Let's go ahead and try the bread with the broth. Make this for your family. They're gonna love it. It's so easy. You just saw it. I just put everything in a pot, let it cook. So delicious. Anyways, I really wanna thank you guys for spending time with me in my kitchen. Please give me a like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Mm, this is so yummy, you guys.